Beep, boop, 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 beep, beep. Hey, how you doing? Welcome again to the Court of the EDI Jester. I hope you're all well. June start. I know I keep on about it, but for goodness sake, come join us. We're having a great time. Uh, now, <clears throat> thank you very much to everyone who supports me. Be that on Substack, be that by buying me a coffee, or my all of my various ways of saying thank you, or and you do, and I really, really appreciate it. So that's my... Remind me when I don't say it, because I need to say it more often, OK? I, it, you really do keep me going, and that's the point. That's, that's a funny way for a man my age to make a living. But, you know, it's that's what I'm trying to do. So thank you so much for helping me. I really appreciate it. As we hammer through March, going at a rate of knots, and it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So I had my first session with the New Warrior Teachers. Wonderful. Marvellous. Good folk. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Let's go, because I've got something different for you today uh, than I would normally have, in that we are visiting with an article from NBCMontana.com. Um, San Salvador in Honduras. This doesn't come up often, does it, anywhere like this? San Salvador, Honduras, uh, in which El Salvador Education Minister, Jose Mauricio Pineda. I hope I got that right. I got it, because I got one of my warrior teachers sent me a message saying it's Merchant Gumru for my message the other day that I was doing about Wales. I'm sure if there's anybody watching from San Salvador, Honduras. I've never known anybody to watch my channel from San Salvador, Honduras. Maybe they will now. What he did was essentially, because this was this was on the, uh, this was on March the 1st, so it's a bit retrospective, but I found it, I thought, well, this is glorious. Uh, what he did essentially was his department has removed all education materials concerning gender ideology from public schools. That's how you do it. Mr. Sunak. Oh, Diddy Rishi. Right, that's how you do it. Uh, you've got nothing to lose. Who is it you're worried about? Drakeford's gone in Wales. They've got another numpty in now. And you've got scooter fumbling, nitwit, hums are useless in Scotland. Right, come on, do it. Nobody cares. You're out any rate in the next eight months. Do it. Come on with a strong agenda. Get it done. The department expelled contents from books and guides authorised by the country's previous administration. Pineda informed Education Ministry directors in a letter of the purge. It has taken care that all educational material and programming, didactic resources, plans, text and workbooks, administrative documents, websites, learning guides, multimedia objects and other documentation related to the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology's daily work does not contain nor make allusion to said ideology. The Minister wrote... In the memo that's been obtained by La Prensa Grafica, which is a, 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 obviously a newspaper in uh, El Salvador. You can have a look. There's a link in the document in the, in the, in the Dubris for you. All right. Any school officials discovered will be violating the department's directive, will face legal consequences, according to the minister. I call to you as national directors, staff directors. Education department directors, managers, bosses, technical staff, that you take care of our students' integral education and comply with this disposition in order to avoid penal measures that can result in the stopping of functions following due process. Pineda warned. The expulsion followed years of the Ministry's resistance to teaching gender ideology, according to Pineda. On this occasion, I will allow myself to re reiterate that this ministry, since the 2022 school year, established its official position surrounding all the related elements of gender ideology. He noted, in that sense, all the aforementioned content with this ideology has been excluded from the teaching and learning process of our students. Isn't that interesting? Simply done. Simply done. Very interesting indeed. Now, what I find more interesting is it doesn't mention the LGB. It gets it, doesn't it? This particular instruction gets it. This particular gentleman gets it, yep. The Education Ministry's prohibition came less than a month after voters re-elected El Salvador President Niall Babu Kelly, a conservative populist who has opposed lessons related to gender identity. I hate it when they do it. They say a conservative populist. It doesn't have to be a conservative populist that can hate gender identity. Anybody in their right mind would hate it. Right, so really what we've got here is freedom versus authoritarianism. Yep, sanity versus insanity, humanity versus anti-humanity. During the Conservative Political Action Committee conference held earlier this month, Buke and he said Bukaki, damn it, Bukele 
Emphasize, don't ask, don't Google, right? Emphasize the importance of removing gender ideology from school curriculums, arguing parents have a say in what their children learn, according to El Pais. On February the 23rd, El Salvador failed to meet a deadline set by the nation's Supreme Court, ordering it to create a gender recognition process, preventing transgender discrimination, according to Human Rights Watch. So they're flying in the face of the whole thing. The whole nonsense coming out of every other bloody body like the WHO and the UN and UNESCO and they're going, no, we're not doing it. We're taking it out of schools. And they've taken it out of schools. Is it me or do we need more of this? You know as well as I do. I, you saw that Welsh thing the, about Murchid Cymru, right? You saw, you saw that of what they're doing in Wales and what the teachers are damn well up to. Not one teacher should be teaching this. If they're found teaching it, they should be fired. End of story. If they're found practising it, that's even worse. Turning up, dressing their, you know, knicker fumbling ways in schools. We're not having it at all. So I think El Salvador provides a simplistic template there of how to get rid of it. It joins many of the US states that have done similar, which I've reported on previously. But you could, of course, as usual, let me know in the old Dubris downstairs what your position on, on this is. Because I think it's about time we started to take this very seriously. Indeed, it is obvious from what is coming out and what is being reported by various groups all up and down our, all up and down our, our pole of contention, right? <laughs> is, this is lunacy. That's, that's what it is, all lunacy. And they're ignoring the guidance in schools. They're ignoring it, right? They're ignoring it. And then when, even when they don't ignore it, these organisations and Fruit Loops are just going, well, what we actually meant was, and they Mott and Bailey. Agender's done it. You know Agender, the, the, the sort of networking that was paid for with 87 grand by the British people in the, the civil service have now said, well, we never expected its sexual orientation to be confused with gender identity. And we just want to make it clear that we mean that sexual orientation has got nothing to do with gender identity. So they're Mott and Bailey already. This is what these people are going to do. It's not enough that you must put guidance in. They must be eradicated, these groups. All fealty groups must go. All materials that talk about this nonsense must go, unless, as I've said previously, I've got no problem with the following, which is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, sit down, and now we're gonna have a presentation on how the, U the West fell for a cult called gender identity ideology. How the West fell for a cult that then entered their banking system, their health system, their governments, their police, their judiciary, every, every avenue of life in Britain. Let me talk to you about this cult. That's what they should be teaching. And until that point, we may well be wasting our time. But you can tell me, as usual, in the Dubris. Great to speak with thee. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs>